the top of the world, there's a highway where stunning beauty becomes a battlefield. Keeping it safe takes an army, and they don't fight the weather. They wage war. Game on. I don't think there's a record company anywhere in this world that can do what we do. What can go wrong? Anything can go wrong. This ain't a road. It's a highway through hell. winter weather update. I'm joined by our storm specialist, Dr. Greg Postel. And Greg, it's all about precipitation type because yes. right now there's a lot going on in the atmosphere. Yeah, there is. And the precipitation type is going to be really hard to narrow down because those zones that are going to support those different types are really narrow. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the radar and I'll show you exactly what I mean. Uh, you got all kinds of colors here. The green is the rain, uh, according to the radar, that would be right in here. And then we have the purples, which is freezing rain, basically rain falling from the sky and then melting on contact. And then the sleet pellets, which is sort of frozen rain drops falling there in pink, and then the snow, of course, in the blue. I think it's going to look like this for several more hours to come. Unfortunately, that may lead to a lot of uh, ice accumulation on a lot of surfaces. Yeah, obviously, freezing rain is the thing we're most you know, fearful of. It can accumulate on the tree line, on the tree branches, and the power lines, and lose our power as well. So yep. snow is OK, rain is OK. It's just yeah. that stuff in between you got to worry about. Yeah, and as we look at this forecast of what the radar is going to look like, the area that we're going to watch is this area shaded in pink. That's sort of the ice uh, that this model is forecasting out beginning this evening. Watch what happens. Here's Paducah, Kentucky. They're going to be in it essentially for many hours to come. 11.30 tonight. Notice as we head through the morning hours, rush hour all along this whole area. It's going to be very, very difficult and it really doesn't wind down until about say dinner time tomorrow night. So we've got a long duration winter event coming with lots of ice accumulation I think and some snow accumulation here as well in those purple shades. We've got 5 to 8 inches of snow there. But I think really we're going to have to watch more for ice in this zone here because that, as you said, is the worst hazard out of all of it. And we have the greatest chance for more than a quarter inch of ice in this zone all the way from Dallas, does include Paducah, up to Louisville. All right, and of course we want to ask you a question now. It's time for Ask the Weather Channel. We do this every Thursday. And of course with this huge storm system, I know a lot of people are afraid of what's going to happen in their neighborhoods. So we have a question for you. Okay. This one comes from our Facebook page and this is actually Judy wanting to know, is North Carolina one of the states that is going to get hit by the storm. Uh, yeah, it, it is. Uh, you know, fortunately, Cleon is going to likely bring more rain than anything else to North Carolina between now and, say, early on Saturday. Then there's going to be a break. But what we have to watch out for is what's coming next. Mm -hmm. There is another storm that is going to be impacting the east very late in the weekend, I think, really in earnest Saturday night through Sunday night. This is what the map looks like for us on Sunday in North Carolina. we got a lot of green set up in here all the way from the outer banks through Ra Raleigh, Durham, Greensboro, and Asheville rain. But it's really only in the northern part of North Carolina on Sunday that we expect the icy conditions. So North Carolina, I think, is going to escape fairly uh, safely from this uh, next storm, which is coming later on the weekend. The places that are going to really have to watch out, say on Sunday, would be farther to the north across northern Virginia, but maybe even including the I-95 corridor, like D.C., Philly, and on up through Pennsylvania. And we've got some football games going on in some of those areas too yes, on Sunday. Yes, we do. Should be interesting. We'll keep sending in those questions. You can submit them on our Facebook or Twitter pages. Just make sure on Twitter, use the hashtag AskTWC. We'll have another question and answer for you coming up in the next Next hour, Paul. Well, because it's been a while since.